Living life as normal under full security alert. It's a dichotomy Islanders are learning to live with. That story is next on the Staten Island News Center. Good evening, I'm Tina Servasio. Good evening, I'm Matt Locker. What's a person to do with cascading reports of anthrax scares and the president telling us we should be vigilant and alert for impending attacks? Living life as normal may be easier said than done. Despite being perceived as one of the more liberal cities in America, a just-released report indicated that hate crimes against gays rose 5% from 1999 to 2000. 580 hate crimes were reported in 99, while that number rose to 611 the following year. Richard Hames is the director of the Gay and Lesbian Anti-Violence Project. He says the higher numbers may not mean that there have been more attacks, but it's possible that more of those attacks have been reported. Tina? Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you. See you next time around. Rosebank residents opposed to a new power plant in their neighborhood thought they saw the light at the end of the tunnel, with the end of that tunnel being in Queens. Now, plans to build a similar plant in Queens had been blocked, which would have set a precedent for local action. However, an appeals judge says nothing doing and overruled the lower court order. That means the plans have the go-ahead to be built in Queens, which means it could also happen here on Staten Island. Now, the New York Power Authority says that they are on a time frame to get 11 more plants online. The additional plants are needed to avert power shortages during the hot summer months. There were tables upon tables of... What advice would you give to keep that pendulum from swinging backwards again and keep things going in this direction? <laughs> you got to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> Sports with Nick Lagakis, who I'm sure is not very happy with you Just right kidding, now, Nick. <laughs> is next on the Staten Island News Center. And he'll have a complete preview of the upcoming basketball tournament as the local news continues. Give you something to watch if you're not up for the Super Bowl. <laughs> like you, Matt. <laughs> At one time or another, most of us have had the experience of getting the telephone runaround. Navigating the phone book to find government agencies in the city can be a task unto itself. Mayor Bloomberg is working to put an end to that. In an effort to bring government closer to the people, the mayor outlined the creation of a new 311 system, a single telephone number that'll put you in touch with the right agency, any agency, right away. Recapping tonight's top story, the court gives the go-ahead to fire up the Rosebank power plant, but must monitor and provide information on noise level and pollution. Residents of the neighborhood are outraged that the plant has been forced on them and promise an appeal. City Councilman Jerome X. O'Donovan says it's not done yet. And that's the news. Thank you so much for joining us. For Tina Servasio, Nicole Gakis, and all of us here at the Staten Island News Center, I'm Matt Locker. Thanks for joining us, and you make it a good one.